Hello lovelies, I have been getting the same question from you guys a uh, lot of the week. Do I think it is more or less likely that exams are going to be cancelled considering what the government announced about mocks last week? So, here goes. So in case you missed it just last week or 10 days ago now, the government announced their plan B, their contingency plan for what would happen if exams in 2022 were cancelled. And basically it is that you have to do three mocks. The first of them being for Christmas and then one in spring term and one in the summer term. These are high stakes assessments because um, your teachers your school have to tell you that you are doing them so that they can be used for centre assessed grades if exams are cancelled. They have to be done under full exam conditions and they have to be a representative of what the exam would be. So close to a full exam paper considering that you probably haven't finished the course yet. Um, which means you guys are revising a lot. Now this is the first time that the government's had a plan B but we are talking about kind of like the third year of exams in a pandemic oh god that's a horrible phrase to say um obviously in 2020 nobody was planning on cancelling the exams until they did it so we didn't have a contingency plan um in 2021 nobody was planning to cancel exams but it wasn't a surprise when they did it but they had time to put a contingency plan a plan B in place considering how badly the 2020 results days went um but they didn't they just said we're gonna have central assessed grades again and we're not gonna standardize them and then the the, the um, you know teachers can cite their own evidence um they schools can do it in their own way and it was all very different um and grades were very very high i think for 2021 45% of all grades given out at A-level were A or A-star, whereas normally it's around 20%. So people got a lot higher grades. But they've given this, this contingency plan, plan B, in place that just in case we cancel the exams again, which they didn't do last year, but they did cancel the exams. So I don't know whether the fact that they've put this plan B in place now means that they know something they're not telling us that they are planning on cancelling exams and you will be using the centre assessed grades um as part um of your assessment or whether the government are kind of like oh we know what we're doing now because it's third year of exams in a pandemic what we're going to do is tell teachers exactly what evidence we would have expected which would have been really really useful information last year thanks government for telling us useful information after we needed it. Um, and I don't know whether they're just telling us what they expect us us to do, even though it's a bit late to do it. I, I don't know. But the problem is you guys now have basically four sets of high stake assessments, which is a lot of stress and pressure and a lot of hard work for your teachers having to set, invigilate and mark all of those. Um, so do I think you are more or less likely to have exams cancelled? Oh, I think, I think I'm hedging towards I am now like 95% exams are going ahead. Like two weeks ago I was like 99.9% .9 sure exams are definitely going ahead. However, this announcement has introduced a little bit of doubt in my mind which isn't really what i wanted i don't like doubt um but it's kind of like you know why have they introduced this plan b now it's put loads of stress and pressure on teachers and on you guys um and it's kind of like ah, uh, i think it is the creeping of doubt and i think it is the creeping of the government wanting to be very very prepared for if they have to cancel exams again um but you know that does mean that basically you are sitting high stakes assessments from now you've got to do one before christmas because the government has said now i know the government's 
haven't made it a law, but it's going to be really hard for your schools to turn around and ignore advice from Ofqual because then it might come back and bite them later on. Um, so, um, yes, the announcement last week that um, the government's plan B, the contingency plan, and the fact that, oh, I, know, I know this is just an anecdote, but personally, I know a lot of people who have COVID at the moment. Like, I'm doing all my lateral flow tests that will come back negative. I am, like, astonished that I haven't got it at the moment, considering how many people I know have got it. Um, loads of people in school are off. I would say about 25% of the students are out um, with positive tests. So, numbers are creeping up. The government's published its contingency plan. I'm now at kind of like... 95% so I've, I've lost 4.999% confidence that exams are going to take place and I'm now creeping towards the unconfident side of it um which I know isn't good but it does mean that you guys need to basically start revising now it's horrific it's awful I'm really sorry um because uh what you do really matters um, yeah, I'm sorry guys, I'd love to have a video which is all shiny and happy and full of good news, but unfortunately, I don't, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way, through all of your mocks, through your actual exams, and through to results day. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.